Hi, this is Danny with Adirondack Flagpoles. This video is how to install a yard arm. Here we have a 28 foot pole finish with 14 coats of varnish. Because it's a yard arm, it's got three cleats. Now, uh, what we're going to try to show in the video is the key points of installing the yard arm. Under the pole, two thirds of the way up, is a three quarter inch stainless steel dowel that's epoxied into the pole. On, this is the yard arm, seven foot, two pieces with the aluminum core and uh, metal arms. On the mounting base, there's also a matching three quarter inch pole. So, uh, we're going to set the yard, pause the video, set the yard arm, and then resume the video. Okay, we're, we're back on the yard arm install. Um, once we set the bottom of the bracket on the pin, first we siliconed everything, all the wood and the bracket, so because uh, it's a very tight fit. Slid it up, we had one of us on either side, removed the halyard and set the plate in place, tighten these four nylock uh, stainless cap screws. Be aware those have never seize on them, you don't want to get it on your fingers and then on the pole. Very important consideration, there's a right side up and a wrong side up, so as long as you're two pulleys on the ends are facing the base of the pole. This is where the halyard will attach on either side from here to those pulleys. Now when we ship this, they'll be all rigged and the halyards will be attached to these pulleys. Make sure before you raise the pole that you uh, release the tape holding all those loops of the halyard so that as you're raising the pole the halyards full length if you leave them coiled up you won't get to them the last consideration this is the mounting pin at 24 inches up on the base um, you'll be setting on sawhorses raising the pole right into the mounting base from immediately adjacent to it so the final consideration is where does the cleat go up like we have it or down. As far as the yard arms concerned, I'd say this is easier with the cleat up because once the yard arms in place, the plates on top. It's it's equally easy if the cleat was down, in other words this pole rotated 180 degrees, then the yard arm just sits on its mounting pin, but you do have to get your four screws from the bottom kneeling down under it. So your consideration on whether the pole drops in your mounting base like we have it, cleat up, or reverse it 180 and the cleat on the bottom will depend on which side of the pole you want your cleat on when the pole's vertical. If it's aesthetic, normally you would face the cleat to the side you wanna view the pole from most often and the side you want to access the pole. If you have consistent prevailing winds, the ideal option is that the cleat be on the leeward or downwind side of your prevailing winds, which are generally out of the west. So that's a decision irrelevant, irrelevant of the yard arm. One way it's easier to set the yard arm on, the other way it's easier to screw the cap in. Any questions, give me a call. Danny at 518-534-4033. Thank you.